Hey guys, J77 back here again with another vlog entertainment update. And for those who are WWE fans, if you haven't heard the news, um, WWE will be looking for a new TV home after reports have said that they have failed to renew with USA Network. Now, uh, the WWE has been part of USA Network uh, for quite some time. Um, for what I understand, I think it was their original home before uh, moving to. Um, T, um, TNN, later on Spike uh, TV, and uh, it was uh, pretty much an, before going back to um, USA. So this was a very, very, uh, very much up and down. But for the most part, uh, for their deals, they have done pretty good for themselves with the USA Network. Uh, so hearing that they have not. Uh, uh, we knew was kind of a big surprise here. Now, according to the article, which is uh, which was done uh, by um, Bloomberg Technology, the WWE home is uh, home for its Raw and SmackDown shows after failing um, is now seeking a new home after failing to renew the agreement to air their programs on Comcast uh, uh, Incorporated, um, CMCSA. USA and Sci-Fi Cable Network. We look forward to engaging with uh, potential partners who recognize the value of having a number one show on cable and on live and live contact delivered 52 weeks a year. Um, Stanford, Connecticut-based WWE said today on an email statement. Um, the article also goes on to say um, that the WWE um, anchored distributors, including DirecTV, by starting a description streaming network. And that's actually very important because the streaming network should start within the next few days. Um, this network um, is not only um, revised all the wrestling content that we know and love, those four die fans, but also pay-per-views that doesn't require you to stress your pockets. And I'm kind of seeing why DirecTV is not very pleased about this. Um, again, it says here that uh, DirecTV, by, sh uh, by starting a subscription streaming network early this month that provides m uh, matches previously available on pay-per-view and programs unavailable on television. Raw was USA most watched show in the week ending February 9th. According to the announcing data, the program regularly ranks among the week's most watched cable television. NBC, uh, NBC Universe also uh, matching rights with the limit if, uh, with some limits, if WWE reach a deal with other networks. The New York Post reported this week. Um, I um, don't know um, if this is going to be. Uh, uh, is going to be a long fetch. I think they're going to be. They're going to find a network. I think they will. I, I'm not going to say that they're, they're going to be out of uh, of the dumps uh, <laughs> or be blacked out completely. First of all, they do have the streaming, um, which is an advantage and disadvantage because how many people is asking to subscribe to the streaming, and we also got to take the fact is that how many people are going to make that big push. Um, WWE, despite their streaming network, still needs. Um, a network to carry their content. That's just how it is, and I think that's the way. Uh, I think that's the way. Um, they think that's why WWE is uh, is pushing hard to get it. I think they're gonna do it. Um, I think there's gonna be a little bit more far fetched to do it, especially if they're asking for too much. But I think they will do it. Uh, now, NBC, um, you have declined to comment on the situation, uh, but uh, keep in mind they're not gonna say anything uh, that could either jeopard that can jeopardize uh, the deal. So I, I'm pretty sure before the month is over, we fight. They'll probably have a new home. Um, well, what if this mean that um, the WWE is going to go back to television? Cause keep in mind, SmackDown was actually um, the televised, free televised version of the WWE uh, before finally going to cable. I don't know. Uh, this is uh, I would like to see at least one of, of these um, shows be back on um, free TV. But this money talks, and if NBC can get a deal to keep them on cable, they will do that. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing it on MSNBC and or the other NBC networks they have, but it all depends on what they're going to do. Um, this is something also important. The WWE fell 1.1% to $23.24 at the close of the New York Stock Exchange. Um, this is has more than doubled in the past uh, year. Comcast decli declined 0.3% to $53.58, so this is something also very important, because as you all know, um, WWE had went public some time ago, so this 
definitely could play into their shares um, as uh, the days and after the weeks and the months uh, uh, continues. And plus, there's a big, 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 big watch on how the streaming servers have compared to uh, to what they have been doing um, now. Um, keep in mind, this is a big risk that WWE is doing. Um, their history with risk is not that good. Uh, but in this case, there is um, something that I still feel that's enticing, especially with the pay-per-views, because let's be honest, the pay-per-views are extremely expensive. Uh, they're, they're really, really expensive. And the fact that, uh, that they have made the stream anger a lot of cable providers and uh, to the point where I think, don't be too shocked that a lot of the cable channels may be hesitant to do business with the big cost of their move but who knows um that's what i'm going to say about on the moment i'll leave a link below you guys can check it out yourself until then jason may 7 signing off